Well, showbiz doesn't hurt if you can fight. About 16 months, angry at his management for having matched him against losses, 20 KOs, 12 of them within three rounds. Both fighters at the 160 pound neighborhood. Jones 159 and a half. Middleweight championship of the world. The executioner Hopkins. Roy Jones Jr. God bless, let's rock. All right. Is gonna really get more respect than he should from the other guy. From them. is the best man he's ever fought. Hopkins says the same about him. Hopkins with a right hand over the top. And the thing that surprises me about Roy Jones is he pretty seldom uses a little bit more defensive here in the first round than is normally the case. Yeah. And Hopkins is not jabbing either. There's that big right hand that Jones fighter. Moves well, punches well for each other. The way of punches before they land the punch. At the root against the hard punching Terry Norris. He's just a tough guy. Round one comes to a close. A lot of respect for each other. As I pointed out, they're not even trying to really land the 61 jabs in the first round, and two of them land cautious as he does so. Well, what, what he's doing, Jimmy. Parsley. Thank you. Well, if, not if they do it properly, Jim. If, uh, if a fighter uh, from the way in this morning, he had a lot about his body for a young fighter. Good solid left hand by Hopkins in that last exchange. Roy Jones has not attempted to get to Bernard Hopkins' body. As they near the end of round two. Jim. Joey Giardello, the full weight champion ever, would you believe it? Is gaining confidence. Get up here. Spit bucket. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. No, the spit bucket. Too eager to, to not get hit. Well, that's timing, but you have to step in with the jab. Land trainer Alton Merkerson and in who we'll see in the heavyweight championship bout later on. Next to all, up to this point. He looks far different than and referee Steve Smoger tells Jones not to hold hot. Hand down around his knee. Neither guy has the confidence to really step in there with their punches. Jones starting to get a little closer to Bernard Hopkins from which Muhammad Ali used to throw the jab. Right hand, left hook, left back. Uh, no, I really think he's thinking offensively. The better shots, but he's using a ring real nice, and his left jab is so quick. Because it's keeping me awake. Well, you know, I, I, I think. Hopkins drives single attempted body punch. Hopkins with two left hooks, years in prison, doing hard time for a chain snatching. And Hopkins is very, very effective when he moves a guy. Jones with a right hand to the top and another right. Left. Hopkins misses the right hand. Again. Yeah, I'm not sure I would try. Really not too much happening now. It's just a chess match. Four. The yard, the way Jones fights, Gil. You know, you're, you're absolutely out of that stuff. He, and he makes these moves so naturally. He jumps in. I'm sure that Hopkins has never been in the ring with a guy like Roy Jones. Not able to get off those five, six, and seven punch combinations. Been landed by Jones and Gil. He threw a body punch. And it's find a, a scoring part. Hopkins like has probably never seen a, a guy that fights it. Scoring time for Bernard Hopkins whenever he gets Roy turns back conventional. And Jim, you had mentioned the fact that a punch from that stance. Now he's back to his conventional stance and back to the right. Pull him out, Roy. As five rounds are in the books, they fight their way past the. As they go into round six, according to punch stat numbers, Bernard slightly better, 60 out of 239, but that's 25. Don't try to hit him in the head. Throw him at his chest. His head. Hopkins fighting back in the middle of the ring. Jones doubled up round after four rounds without a single such attempt. He should be doing. He should be moving as he did. And Hopkins threw some nice counter punches. Short. Right hand off by Jones. Being tentative in the last minute of round six.
the better shots. Uh, he's very slippery. Uh, in round six, he used... When Tony moved up from 160 to 160... I'd like to see one of the two fighters really start to establish... At this point, Gil, I have to... Me, Jim, that, that somehow I mentioned that he was tight before the fight. Jones trying to... Look how quick that Jones is, though. Just natural talent. He tries to get out of the way at the same time he's throwing the punch. Breaks him apart. Good body. Fork across the ring. It's something when he throws his punches. He can't pull back with that jab. And I, uh, but it's, he's like Quicksilver, though. He's very, very difficult to hit with solid punches. I've never seen anybody else been able to do it except Roy Jones. Together through the first half of the fight. <laughs> Two good solid right hands by Bob. Another Hopkins. He's throwing that right hand. There's another right hand by Hopkins on the inside. Really trying to confuse Hopkins now. And now he finally throws a punt. With almost two thirds of the way through the scheduled 12 round. Left hook by Jones. Puts the finishing touches on round. Show you something significant in a rigid percentage of punches. To stiffen up that left jab. Getting a little close. Jab at the same time. Left hook as Hopkins comes in. Missed, but he didn't have to pay for the mistake because he's so close. Thing lead that you suspect is the case at this moment. Of course, our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman. At Jones is just too quick. Big right hand by Jones. Roy Jones. It, it is very difficult. I mean, he, the other guy is in there. And he, Jones is starting to breathe a little heavily, Jim. Right hand by Jones landed as round nine. Jones, I just think that he's winning this fight with the power shots. He. Well, I agree that Hopkins needs something very dramatic to win this fight. Stay on the same page and not be too extreme. I am saying that we don't expect the official judges. Hopkins leaning in and trying to force Jones. He'll land the left hook to the body. He turns southpaw again and again. Oh, I guess it's a wall hook you call it. Jones. It, but he makes it work, Gil. Again, he mentioned first punch you throw. And Hopkins again is looking all night. Anticipated. Or does Hopkins have a terrific chin, Gil? No, I'm not able to hurt Hopkins at any time in the bout. He uses bones. Hopkins smiles. Usually that means a fight. That's natural talent. Well, the comparison. Jones is no Ray Leonard. <laughs> not yet. This exchanges. Round 10 comes to a close. Chin checkers. And really nothing much has happened. Not fighting a good offensive fight. Oh, and Kennedy McKinney. Point in his performance and say, for me again. He's, he's going to say, well, I did it all wrong. I kept waiting, waiting, waiting. I mean, I can't believe it. Over asking him to ask Hopkins to let his right hand go. And mentioning the referee smoke and controls the fight. An East Coast referee works out of New Jersey. And well, all of us assume Right here, With Bernard Hopkins. You may have heard Hopkins' promoter, Butch Lee. <laughs> World Championship Boxing. The first half of a double half. Combinations, Jim. For a change, he's going to the body first, then back up to the... Outstanding boxer in those games. Trying to win his first. The top two contenders in the IBF rankings. They for become a world champion for the first time. I think Jones... You can just see that... Uh, this performance is likely he's fighting a good solid professional mr america mr world good call larry it's enthusiasm that's it. that's it fellas that's it fellas did you find yourself looking in the last three rounds for a way to give a couple of rounds to british
Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Roy! Charles!